Hello, so this is the full tutorial on how to analyze this uh, questionnaire, import it uh, into spaces, uh, analyze the uh, Likert scale, conduct correlations, uh, do uh, one way analysis of variance, uh, do t test, uh, test the normality distribution before doing this inferential statistics. If the data is not normal, we are going to see. Uh, non-parameter uh, statistics like uh, the man with new test for uh, t-test instead of t-test and the cross Wallace test instead of uh, one-way analysis of variance so so this is the questionnaire it's about extroversion uh, I'm going to find the scales that need to be first of all I have to code this questionnaire I should not leave it like this so these are the questions uh, so I'm going just to delete this, uh, enable editing and delete this uh, column here uh, by clicking on, uh, selecting it and deleting it. Uh, so, uh, so we are going to work on this data. Uh, first of all, I have to have the code. So this is the code of the questionnaire. So we have uh, the, for the Lagarde scale, uh, strongly disagree one to disagree two, neither disagree nor disagree three, agree four, and strongly agree uh, five. So I'm going to go back to the questionnaire. Uh, I'm going to uh, keep selecting. For example, let's start with this uh, uh, scale. Uh, I'm going to uh, select this one as well as this one at the same time because they are uh, similar. Uh, then I'm going to keep uh, uh, using uh, replace this function. So I'm going to find uh, find something and replace it. So let's go back to our uh, uh, code. So let's say it's uh, about accuracy. So the first one is very in inaccurate. So what I'm going to do is as follows: is to find a very inaccurate. Uh, here with the uppercase because it's written with the uppercase there uh, then uh, replace it with the value one okay and click replace all so you can see here there are 15 uh, replacements then I'm going to go to very accurate uh, very accurate uh, so I started with this uh, I will tell you why later uh, then I replace it with uh, 5 and then click replace all okay then I'm going to move to uh, this one neither accurate nor accurate uh, and then replace it with the value 3 all right and click replace all then I'm going to go to uh, the, this one that is inaccurate and replace it with the value 2 and then uh, let's go to the last one which is accurate and replace it with the value 4 so why I started uh, with this order uh, with this order because uh, if I choose for example accurate so I'm going to this is misspelling so if I choose uh, accurate so the other ones are so it's included in other uh, statements therefore I'm going to have four like this so for example neither accurate if I started with accurate so I'm going to have uh, like this so which is not uh, good so that's why I, I, I did that I started with this very inaccurate neither accurate or inaccurate then uh, very accurate uh, inaccurate and then accurate so once I coded this I'm going to move to code uh, the uh, the strongly agree agree etc record scale I'm going to select the whole scale like this the whole uh, scale with the statements and everything and then uh, do the same function of uh, replace so here I'm going to go back to the uh, the code again of uh, of the questionnaire so I have uh, disagree here strongly so I should put disagree strongly uh, and then replace it with one so disagree strongly then replace it with one and then click, click replace all then I move to uh, disagree neither agree nor disagree
and then replace it with three and then move to uh, strongly agree or agree strongly and replace it with four and click replace all then I'm going to go to disagree and replace it with two and click replace all okay so once I coded this I still have just one value which is agree I'm going to replace it with with 4 so I'm going to go back till I reach 4 so uh, agree strongly is 5 not 4 so that's what I'm going to do replace and put agree strongly and replace it with 4 and click replace all uh, with 5 sorry this is not uh, 4 I don't know why doing this so it's with five and replace all and then I still have just agree replaced with uh, four this is number four as you can see you see the problem that I told you about so I have to go back to disagree because uh, it's it includes agree so I'm going to, to go back here I'm going to choose disagree disagree and replace it with uh, with two all right uh, so we still have just agree uh, which is going to be replaced with uh, with four all right and click replace all so uh, that's it for the coding I'm going to uh, to code the, the age group as well as the uh, gender group and ethnicity etc in the same way so once I finish this once I have the whole questionnaire coded I'm going to save it uh, save it okay once I save it and then I should uh, exit uh, I'm going to import it to spaces so I'm going to open spaces okay new file and I'm going to go to file and then import data and then uh, Excel and I'm going to look for uh, uh, for the Excel file all right so uh, for example I'm going to go here spaces data and choose uh, uh, coded questionnaire and click uh, okay so now it's being imported that it's being uh, migrated so I'm going to uh, keep this like this all right and click OK so now it's being imported I just have to wait a little bit okay so once it's imported I have to go back again and uh, uh, change the measures as well as uh, add the values so for example uh, for the Likert scale of uh, uh, agreeing uh, and disagreeing etc so it starts from 7 so I'm going to go back uh, to 7 and in the values I'm going to click on these three dots and then keep defining for example we said that uh, one is uh, strongly uh, disagree or agree disagree strongly is strongly then I, I click add then two is uh, uh, disagree and I click add three is uh, uh, neither agree nor disagree so I'm going to type it neither agree nor disagree disagree and I click add 4 is uh, uh, 
uh, agree and I click add and five is strongly agree strongly agree all right put it in uppercase like this or agree strongly either way so I'm going to put it agree strongly just to be consistent uh, then I click add so once I finish I click OK I'm not going to keep entering this manually I'm just going to click like this on this variable on these uh, values and click uh, on the left uh, right button sorry and click co copy uh, just to copy this and then uh, we click on the right side and click uh, paste for the rest of the uh, lacquered scale items till I finish like this all right so I have to do this uh, with other uh, variables like age gender education level ethnicities etc so once I finish uh, coding uh, the questionnaire I have to go to the measure and start uh, uh, changing these uh, values so the first one is string this is a qualitative variable so I should leave it uh, nominal like this uh, for the other one ones about accuracy as you can see from one uh, from three to four and seven one to seven eight these are five point Likert scale uh, I'm going to uh, change these values as uh, ordinal or uh, scale either way so I'm going to choose ordinal uh, so I'm going to keep changing these uh, measures like this till I finish all of them once I finish once I finish this uh, I'm going to start for example uh, calculating the tests if I want to do descriptive statistics I'm going to do it from here uh, if I want to do also uh, parametric statistics or official statistics like one sample t one sample t test independent sample t test paired sample t test one way analysis of variance etc can do it from this menu but before doing this we have to check uh, the normality of the data by going to uh, descriptive statistics then explore etc uh, so so I'm going to go back to the questionnaire that is uh, coded uh, fully and show you how uh, this is done by the way before going to that uh, this, this this label is very important because uh, the name does not uh, or the name does not uh, allow f to use the use of uh, special characters like this this should be changed so if we want to end space so we should not put any special characters of sp or space here so what we should put is a label we should put the name of each variable here for example we can just copy and paste them here till we finish so I'm going to show you the questionnaire that's been uh, completed so it is, it is done in this way so as you can see it's the same one so as you can see it's uh, been done this way so we have level uh, labels we have uh, values of each scale like female and male uh, female one two uh, and male two etc etc now I start the analysis of this questionnaire so as I said if I want to conduct for example uh, correlation I'm going to uh, to check uh, uh, the normality of the distribution for example if I want to uh, uh, classify the respondents into uh, for example uh, high extrovert or low extrovert or no extrovert uh, there is a way to do that by combining uh, variables by recording to uh, different uh, variables so I'm going to go to transform uh, record into different variables and I'm going to choose the, the the items that I would like to record into different variables like the scale uh, five point Likert scale from here uh, so I'm going to just keep on clicking control and select it like this till I select them all and then transform them by this arrow this variable view and I choose the, their uh, output name uh, but before that I'm going to go here because this is more advanced somehow I'm going to uh, choose a range and go back to uh, the, the theory about Likert scale so I already have the theory about that so for example let's say uh, range through the highest like 3 uh, 2 for example point, uh, thirty. Is the highest so I'm going to include it click continue uh, 
so I'm just going to, uh, to go back so uh, what I need I should just uh, put the range here till I finish the range all of them once I finish them I will have a, a new variable which is this one okay so extrovert uh, more extrovert low high etc with the, the, this code so for example low extrovert and decided high extrovert and I should add this uh, variable uh, names so once I uh, add them I uh, classify them like this into low extrovert and decided for those who answered neither agree nor disagree uh, then we have high extrovert so once I divide this into three groups I can run uh, t-test uh, or uh, more specifically once uh, in the independent sample not independent sample but one way analysis of variance because there are three groups so I can for example uh, see whether or not there is a difference between those who are uh, high extrovert and those who are indecided in terms for example uh, uh, for example in terms of uh, gender or in terms of uh, uh, brand uh, perception etc etc so uh, I'm going to show you how the uh, analysis is done in another uh, tutorial